In this video, I'm going to be showing you how box layout works, as well as how to add multiple widgets to your app in Kivi. Now let's get right into it. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to code, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. Now today we are going to be learning about layouts in Kivi, and more specifically box layout, and this will allow you to have multiple widgets in your app. So we're just in the Python file that we were working in last time, and the first thing that we're going to want to do is to import the box layout class into our Python file. And after this, we're going to want to create the layout widget. And we're going to want to do this in the build method, which is where all our widgets will be stored. So just instantiate the box layout class and assign it to your layout. Now we're just going to create two new labels. Now that we've got two labels defined, we need to add them to our layout, and we can do this using the addWidget method. And then we'll add the second label. And this addWidget method right here is part of every layout class you're going to run into. It's part of the box layout class. It's also part of all the other layouts that you're going to come across in Kivi. And finally, we're going to want to set this layout that we've got here as the root widget of the app. So instead of returning label, Let's return layout. And now if we run it, we can see that we've got two widgets next to each other. We've got two labels, one saying hello world, and the other one saying button two. These are two different boxes, and that's why it's called box layout, because each widget is put into its own box of sorts. Now, what happens if we want to change the way that these widgets are ordered? So instead of having them horizontally ordered from left to right, how about we order them vertically, so from top to bottom? So to do that, we go into our box layout up here, and then we set orientation to vertical. And then if we run it again, we can see that they're now ordered from top to bottom. And by default, this orientation will be set to horizontal. Now as a little extra, I'm going to show you how to add a button to our app. So we're going to want to import the button. So from the button module of the user interface module, we want to import the button class. And after this, we should instantiate the button in the build method. I don't know why I set that to button 2. That needs to be label 2. There we go. I didn't notice that the entire time. Anyway, this needs to be set to button. In fact, let's change this to press me. And finally, we're going to want to add it to the layout. So layout.add widget, and we'll add the button. And if we run it now, you can see we've got this little button down here that says press me. And if we press it, you can press it. It doesn't do anything. Anyway, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I will get back to you and help you out. If you'd like to see how to make a switch statement in Python, which is a really useful trick to learn, then click on the video here. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.